So the first person to deliver, delivered in seven minutes. Um, Elizabeth, yours is not yet a table. Table. No, you're not Elizabeth. After you beat the time, we we started before the time. I still did not finish first. Uh, okay, Elizabeth, good work. Just that um, you've not made it a table yet. It's still just um, still just in that form. Please, who is this person? Oh, we actually need to find out where we are. Okay. Your voice needs to come out. I don't know. I'm sure Okay. What did you say? You're booking. P and Q, yeah. All right. You're done? Okay, so well done. Um Jesse, well done. Promise well done. Dam Lola, well done. Elizabeth, well done. Okay. So are we done? If you are not done, you are not supposed to be in this class. Chairman, are you done? Women, women power, are you done? Ah, double um, seven, are you done? Are you done? This light not they bright enough. You still wear glad that shit. So are you done? You came late. Sorry. Uh, you guys are done? Are you with us? Almost. All right. Now, what a eh? miracle. Hello? Hello? Where are we? Yeah? Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Now, well done. I will give you another chance to redeem yourselves. Okay? This time, I will give you the task the way they give us in real life. But this time, you are all, you are all teachers. Are we together? You are all what? In junior secondary school. Okay? Okay. Good. You're all, you're all teachers in, in junior secondary school. So you teach GS1 to SS. So sorry, to GS3. GS1 to GS3. 
and you teach them math. Do not tell me you deny what I'm saying. No. Those online, please listen carefully. You are a junior secondary school teacher, okay, that teaches math from just one to just three. You are to prepare and create a table to be able to calculate the test scores and exam scores and total it and give the grades of your student. So, <laughs> <laughs> you are to prepare a table that will collect the test scores. How many tests would you run? Three tests. You're not a nice person. First, second, third test. Two tests, right? And then what? An exam, right? Then you have the total and then you get your score. Are we together? You get your score, right? Right. Good. Please don't tell me it's not YMU. Now, in this table, you're going <laughs> to uh, uh, handle 20 students. 20. Okay, good. Ranging from just one to. Okay, just one to what? Just three. Good. Very careful, everybody needs to write at this point. If you've not write anything before, write this one. A1. Ninety and above. A1, ninety and above. B. 78 and above. C, 60 and above. B is what? A. C is what? Good. D. 49 and above. D is what? D is what? Anything below that D is F in my school. <laughs> Hello, are we together? So zero to forty nine is what? Thank you. Did you understand everything I said? Why are you late? Are we together? Obviously, you cannot do this part. So don't be scared. But create the space for it, which should be what? What column would that be? Great. Thank you. But for now, what you are going to be doing is you are going to impute the scores, default scores. You know, the first two tests are over what? 15, right? 15, 15. Then the exam is over 70. Okay, that is perfect. So all you need to do is what? Now I leave it in your hands because I'm already answering the question. And now I'm going to give you, using my very wonderful stopwatch, because you will not cheat me. Wait, to Helen, I should come again from what part? What part did you miss? Okay, from B, B is, what's B again? B is 
78 and above. Yes. Yeah, I'm asking. Where? Oh, from your physical. Okay. What's the question? No, 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 Oh, uh, so, huh? Those online, I will I'll type the question freshly. Now, you listen, no, listen. Now, this is the point. Some of you might showcase it in a different way than another person. All right? That's why I'm leaving it in your hand. But generally in the world, nobody's coming to tell you what is what. You are going to just be told, I want to see these results. Make it come to life. Now, you are supposed to think of the easiest way, not just... Not the easiest way for you, but the easiest way for whoever, in case you want to imagine doing it now, and then how best can you keep using this same template over time? Do you understand? That's what you're thinking about. So this time I'm giving you guys, this is um, a few minutes past 12. 12.30 you should be done. That's like, that's like 12 minutes. Hmm? Yeah. No, just the table, you just have 20 students. Mix the class, mix the class and 20 students. Don't worry. All right, um, those online, you give me a second, I'll type it in for you guys. The question, I'll type it in. <laughs>
You're done. Who's online? Where are we at? Someone is done in less than eight minutes. How do we define the kind of lost you are? Are we done those online? All right, so part of it is that you guys come to the grades right now, so don't disturb yourself with the grades, but we'll create that column. Test one, test two, an exam. Where did test three come from? So in 11 minutes, we have just two people done. Who is done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five
Anyone you want. No, 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 you won't have all of them. Just one sheet. No matter what you do, just one sheet is fine. We'll, we'll be accurate with that later. But you know that even if someone can be done with the three sheets, because all I have to do is duplicate the one sheet. Right. Yeah. Who, who are you representing? But they're still pressing. Huh? How are you doing if you're putting figures? Those online, have we lost you? I can't hear anything, no? All right, so, wow. Hello? Please, can I get a response online if you guys can hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, because I thought I you guys left us earlier now. Are you guys doing the task? Yes, sir, we're still on it. Okay, okay. Please, we, we have people that already don't know. We've already hit how many minutes? It's 13 minutes. Those online, do you have anybody that is done? Because we're ready to move on. But we need this. You need to have done this to be able to. Almost. Almost. Okay. All right. So, as can we listen? Everybody. Everybody. The keyboard is supposed to be typing, not the mouse. Your yeah, deep voice is, is, is disturbing me. It's disturbing me. Okay. Good afternoon, ma. How's the family? I don't know. You've mastered the art of typing without looking at it or the phone. Better. Okay, so listen, listen. So today, the, list, the reason why we're doing all of these things is because we are going to be looking at functions. Okay? So that's why I said, I already know that you cannot, well, not all of you, but at least if you are still at that phase, you won't be able to do the grading yourself. I know some of you are adding it and you are looking for it and typing A, B, C by yourself. That's punishment if you are handling 200 students in one class and they have to do it for almost six classes. What do you do? You want to swear for yourself? Good. So that's what we'll be looking at. So I need all of you to be set. From the total, we're going to work on total ourselves. Total and grade, we'll do that. So type in the other things. That's the test, test one, test two, figures, and exam. But as for the total and the grade, leave it. We're doing that ourselves. 
Now, miraculously, some of you have decided not to convert it to a table because I did not mention convert to a table. So you've left it at its state. Oh, you are doing online version. All right, well done, those online. Wherever you are at, let's pause and let's now let's do this together. Now, to do any function in Excel, you start with what? You start with what? Eh, I have some more. <laughs> I said any formula. <laughs> to do any formula in Excel, you start with what? The equal to symbol is what tells the system you're about to do a formula. Are we together? Without that equal to sign, if you type in that function, it's just text. It is when you type in, when you put in the equal to, and you type that function name, it now takes it as what? A function and a command, that's nice. All right, now typically, for what we want to do, total will be what? The summation of what? Test one, test two, test and an exam, good. So, so For Android users, you can simply download the um, um, Microsoft Sheets. You can go there and uh, download that and work with it. Then those who are very who, who know how to use both sides, they can actually work with Google Sheets. But it depends on your abilities, though. But I advise you use a system. All right, so now, here, up, I'll zoom in. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, yeah, total the first one. Delete it. Yes. Now zoom in further. Is the is the projector zoom in more? iPhone users. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. Is what? Okay, so an iPhone user said from iPhone users, you can use Microsoft 365. All right, go, go to the top. We're going to be working with the total. So just go straight to that total area. I can zoom that in a bit. Yeah, you can zoom in a bit more. Uh, go to the fantastic. Okay. That's fine. All right. No, it's fine. Okay. So, sorry for the way this shows anyhow, somehow. Okay, good. Now, for the total, look up. If you did not get it before, you have not gotten it. So, please look up. Thank you. Uh, 007, turn and face also. All right, so the first thing is what's equal to. Right? Good. Now, there's how many different ways to write this whole thing? You, you have a choice of, now you've done the equal to, right? Click on test form. Good. Put plus. Look for the plus symbol, right? Test two, plus symbol, and exam. Enter. Does enter? Anyway, remove that G file. You can click on the formula bar at the top because 
go to the top, Formula Bar. Yeah, that will help you not uh, to avoid the mistake. No, the top here. Have you seen the Formula Bar? No, no, no. This bar, where this thing is oh. showing. So it prevents. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so once you put it together, wow, I'm sorry. So come back here. Click here. Double click. It's not correct though, because it can never be it. It can never. So it sums just this first two. That means either we deleted the exam by mistake. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. No. No. I not I not I don't do this one yet. We'll do that, but not yet. Good. So click on test one plus test two plus test three. Yeah. Okay, now are we together? Okay, good. Now that's one method. Okay, this is like uh, your general five and six. You want to add it yourself, kind of method, right? That's how you do it. This is without using the function sum. Are we together? Good. Now, we'll... should I allow you guys to do it? No. Okay, good. Now let's go through sum. Here, let's go through sum. Where? Before I near there, what version of a cell is that? Okay, good, 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 Prince. Well done. Yes. Oh, this is not working. How now? I, I... Show me what you did. Why? Why are you plusing? Why are they the last plus? You want to give space here? It's not. It's not space on that course. Sir. Wow, a lot of miracles you did. Okay, so now equal to in my class. Hey. All right, so equal to sum this time, equal to so equal to open bracket, open bracket. Good, let's look up. Let's look up. We've done that plus is just us showing different ways it could happen. Look up. Good evening, sir. As a family. All right. So good. The reason you are you're learning that plus part, right? In some if you go deep, 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 and you want to use certain formulas that do not currently exist, sometimes you now need to use those symbols yourself. Maybe you are creating the formula is based on, but it's for those going deeper. You understand? So that's why you should understand that once, but you need to use the equal to. You can't just use the plus without all of that. It should look at, like text. Okay. Now the sum can be used in two ways, right? Two ways, right? Those that have never used it are looking at me and waiting for Sir Why? What kind of question is that? So click, click on test one. So the first way is click on test one, comma. Good. Test two, comma. Test three. Close the bracket. Please don't put comma. Close the bracket. Enter. Okay. You don't understand the comma I just did. She's typing the comma. All right. What does comma show you? Are we together? Please. Let's learn this so we may not touch all the formulas in Excel. Please sum. You need to understand. Yes, sum. You need to understand. Good evening. You need to understand the basics of the formulas. 
when you put a comma, you've told it that you're done with a field that is required. Okay, because the formulas, certain formulas require four fields. Are we together? Four fields. Now, to tell you that you are finished imputing this first field, you put a comma. That comma now says you are imputing the next field. Are we together? Now, after you put the next field, you put a comma to tell you you are putting the next. Are we together? So, in the general formula of sum, it is first value, comma, second value, comma, third value, well, as far as you want to go to. That's the, that's the general formula. All right? But the idea here is what? Once you put a comma, you are already moving to the next field. You will see how important that is when we go to if formula. Are we together? All right, good. So that is one way to do the sum. But the easiest way that you all will definitely end up just using is this next method. So we'll go back, sum, the first one, yeah? Equal to sum. This plus that you always type in. Open brackets. Now, click here and drag to the exam. Click on test one. Click drag to exam. It will not to sum more. Hope this is the exam. Good. It's the exam. Close. Close the bracket. Enter. Are we together? We now know they work till I reach there. Please go online. Let's uh, let us not have abandoned you guys. Did you guys get the three different methods? Just let me yes, know by sir. saying oh, good. Thank you very much. Yes, I want to confirm the last one is just by um drag Guinness, right? The last yes, um, so you click on and test and drag to exam. So it will highlight the three. That's basically what you're doing. Well done. We do the last one again. I missed that. Okay, so um, PA, do the last one again. You will see that happen now. Okay, I get it now. All right, perfect, perfect.
Okay. Hope we all got the sum. Good. Now, you can see the screen, right? Let's look up. So we want to do mean max average. If you understand, or one of the basic things you need to find out in any analysis are these three things. Yeah. You're not with me, oh, please. I'm here, enter, enter. Is it boss? All right, so one of the key things, the first set of things you ever find out when you're doing certain analysis is mean max. Sorry, not this mean, oh. Minimum. M I N. M I N. M I N is fine. All right, mean marks and average. Okay, so that's basically you find out because you want to know the range in which you are calculating. Like we talked about um, salary, sorry, minimum wage, right? And by the time you calculate, you merge um, the cost of living in every state. You understand? Before you come to your final conclusion, you're not like, okay, what's the maximum cost of living? And what's the minimum when you look at all the states? Do you get, then now what's the average? Are we together? Then you now begin to decide, okay, okay. To, we now begin to talk based on average. Are we together? So that's why it's one of the major things you find out, just the basics, like, okay, let's find out what we're doing. So even in this school now, the teacher wants to measure her performance in terms of what's the grade level of her students, right? She finds out what's the maximum, who's, what's the highest score, what's the lowest, and what's the average. That average tells her if she's actually, oh, him, I've assumed it's a her, but anyone, tells the teacher that, oh, I'm performing well, like my students get to understand me better. If the students, if the average score is on a grade of, um, let's say, B, C, Channels that is trying there somehow. All right, so max, we have a built in function which is what? Equal to just below the max. Yes, that's why this question was there. Equal to max. Even as you type the function, you see the options, right? And you can see there. Now, if you double click on the option, it will come automatically give you the brackets. Okay, so you have max open brackets. Okay, what are we finding the max of? Of the totals, right? Right. Good. So obviously, none of us want to do F two comma F three comma. Right. We we'll simply do what highlight from F two down to F eleven. from F2 down to F11. Have you highlighted? Yeah, yeah, close the bracket and enter. All right, have we done that? Have we done that? The max. I've come here, you have started shaking. All right, so let's do the same thing for minimum. 
Okay, okay, well done. Minimum. Yeah, equal to. Mm -hmm. Double click now. Yeah. All right, good. Then same way, highlight the same figures. Close bracket. If you're having issues going up, just go straight to the, uh, to the formula rules. That's the way to avoid mistakes. All this is just for visibility for them. Uh -huh. All right. Are we together? Hello, sir. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. My network was not functioning. What was the input for that mean? The mean was actually is mean equal to mean. Open bracket. Okay. You highlight the same thing. Yeah. Same. Okay. Sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. You're welcome. So average, let's go. Equal to, good, what do you see? Good. So unlike the rest, average, average does not like to be insulted by minimizing his name. You type everything. Average, I like everything as well. I, this one worked. Thank God. Okay, so average. Average, right? Okay, so most of you have the averages like this, right? Hello, hello, hello. Look up, look up, look up. Some of you are looking like you're hacking the federal government. Please look up. Now, average, right? How many of you does it does it look this way? You have this number of decimal places. Huh? Most of you, right? Most of you, right? Oh, your own is perfect number. How many decimal places? There you go. One, because we're doing, we're doing, uh, like, um, F2 to 11. Wait, like, like, we have so many. Okay, so, point being, let's reduce the decimal place to one. Where do you go to? Who should advise us? Where do you go to? Number, right? Under the home tab, right? Good. And then, and then what happened? Just tell it to hide. You know, is it then?
Oh. I think it's, it's saying that it's part of the recording. It's helping the recording. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. You go. Close this. Oh, yeah. All right, so we all go to where numbers, right? Yeah. Just one this one, please. And then you reduce it. Have we all done that? Have we all done that? Okay. So I want us now to do grade. It's time to do grade. And I need you guys to follow me. Just follow me. Are we together? Are we together? All right, now go to the first grade space you have. That should be for some people G1, G2, some H2, whichever one it is. All right, are you there? Now we're going to use, we'll start with simple if. And I gave you um, A, B, C, D, and F, right? Right? A, right? Ah, my God. <laughs> So what we're going to first test it with is we're going to test with pass and fail. So we're going to do those above 60 passed. Anybody below 60 did what? They failed. Good. Now, there are parameters needed for the E statement, which is what we have to take note of. Okay? The first parameter is what? The condition. What are you testing? So start with equal to if open bracket. All right, good. So open bracket, the first thing is the condition. So what are we testing for? We want to test if the value in total, right, is greater than what? Hey, no, 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 no. Hey, excess talent. <laughs> My God. Okay. Um, sorry for the mistake of life. Okay, so the value we're going to test if one the condition is going to be is the number in F2 greater than 60, right? If it is, I want you to tell the person that it passed. If it's less than is what? Fail. Now, a simple if statement, which is called a conditional statement. Remember I said setting formulas require parameters, right? Now, if statement requires three parameters. The condition, um, what you want it to display if it is true, and what you want it to display if it is false. Are we together? So that is true, false based on the condition. All right. Now, if the condition in this case we say we want to test for is this greater than 60? If yes, display what pass. If no, display what fail. One simple thing that will solve for everything. Are we together? Good. Now, equal to, we've done that. If <laughs> open bracket, then we say what? Click on the F2. Click on F2. Good. Now, greater than the greater than symbol, yeah. Greater than symbol. That's the term. All right, then 60. 60 is, is more or less our benchmark, right? Good. All right, now, comma. Good. Now, we've, we are putting what the condition. Are we together? If you notice, even while you're typing, there's like, there's a direction underneath it that's showing you that they're showing condition, if true, if false, right? As you put the comma, it moves to the next one, right? That's telling you what the comma is doing for you because I'm emphasizing on this because I've seen so many people, are we together, rush and just begin to put in everything and then there's no separation with the comma. They're wondering why their system is crashing. Okay? So that's very important. Now, the next thing is what the condition if it is true. So true is what pass. 
for us, right? So, quote. Anyway, quote. Single quote. Single quote. Pass in capital. All capital. Capital. Yeah. Then pass. Then yeah, single quote. Good. Now, what does it look like? Does it look like to work? <laughs> Change the single quote to double quote. Change it to double quote. Now just notice what the single quote looks like. When I change it to double quote, you're not seeing a double quote. No, you're using American system. We will hit America. Yeah. How did this system choose to make it look? Huh? The choice is supposed to look different. Let's um uh, yeah, let's cut it like this. Put a comma. Yeah, no, don't worry. Let's leave it as single. Comma, then the same quote again that puts is that pass or fail, have you? Acceptance or fail, okay. Who fail? Yes, yeah, single quote, single quote. Take it back, single quote. Close the bracket first. <laughs> and then leave it, yes? It actually does. There's supposed to be a difference. Single quote first. Single quote. To... Do we have what's on the board? Or what's on display, rather? Single quote, please. Please, after the pass, there's a comma, right? Good. So do you have the three parameters? Enter. Have you clicked enter? Good. What's the error? Does everybody have an error? Did you use single quote? Good. Now change it to double quote. Please remember what happens with single quotes. Double quote for both of them. Is it person Phil? No, look at your Twitter. Are you sure it's not less than you use? Sorry, my own is still, my own is still bringing the arrow. Let's buy the double quote. My own works. Use the exam. You didn't use G. You didn't use course. F2. So we'll just change it to G. Yeah. All right. You said it's still with double quotes? Yes. With double quotes. Check for something. Check if there's an issue. For those who said that they did that, you still, you still give them error, and you're sure that you put in every token you also worked, screenshots and let me see so that we can see what happened. <laughs>
Okay, so okay, someone has sent an image. I'm coming. Okay, yeah, this works now. Okay, okay, okay. I was looking, I thought someone said it didn't work and was gonna send it. Has it worked for the person who said it didn't work before? Okay, so sir, I won't be able to put in greater than. Oh, okay. I think that's where your issue will be. All right, well done, guys. You have done well. Give me a second while we solve some people's problems.
Okay, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Are we together? Are we together? Are we together? Excess power at the back. Thank you. Please focus. Okay, so we want to take it a step. Are we together? Because your the one we did this morning where I said um, 98 and all of those things, right? That's your assignment. So let's take it a step further where you'll be able to do your assignment. Are we together? Simple already breathing hard. Okay, so we've done for those two. Hello. We've done for those two criteria, right? Right? Good. Now let's make it three. Okay? Okay. Uh -huh. So we'll do very good pass and fit. So we'll be adding very good. Okay? So very good will be will be 70 and above. You can write that down somewhere. Those online, can you hear me? Very good, 70 and above. It'd be like, say, you good. 50 and above. Then you don't have anything. 50 and below. That's fail. All right, so fail is 0 to 50. Um, pass is, sorry, is 50. So what? 70. And then 70 above is very good. Okay. Pass is six, um, 50 and above. 50 to 70. Fail is, fail is anything below 50. All right. Are we together? Very well. <laughs> My online people, are we together? Yes, sir. All right, well yes, done, sir. well done, guys. So we're doing very good, pass and fail. Okay? Now, look up. Everybody, the screen, look up. Reduce your talent for now, and let's just look up. Now, go to the formula we already have existing. Okay? Good. You're just, you're just changing um, a few things. Yes? Yes, clear that, clear that, yes. Clear that you get to your 60. Yeah, get to the 60 now. Clear the 60. Clear the 60, yeah. Okay, good. So, you have what if, you're equal to if, open brackets, then you've already highlighted that particular total, right? Good. Now, we're dealing with what? Anything above what? What should we put? We said what? 70, Abby? 70 and above. So how do you do 70 and above? Is it greater than? Greater than what? Greater than 70 is 70 and above. Is that correct? No. Greater than 70. Greater 70. or equal to? Greater than 70 means 71 and above. But so you have what, two choices greater than 69 or greater than or equal to 70. So do equal to after that greater than, then now for 70. Good. Greater than or equal to 70, comma. Double quote, has it worked? So, um, yeah, very good. Yeah, double quote, very good. Yeah, come on before the double quote. And then very good. Close the quote, comma. Now let us get here. Everybody get to this point, because this way it changes. Are we all here? Those online confirm, are you here too? Now, if we are all at this point, I'm waiting for those online. Okay, good. 
Yes, now, sir. it is taking note when you think about the formula. It's a condition, right? So the system is coming in and to say, okay, is this number equal to, so is it greater than or equal to 70, right? If it says, no, it is not, what happens? It's going to the next guy, which is what we're about to do, right? But take note, we said we need three parameters. Condition, if true, if false, right? So if we're going to do for three conditions, how would they not fit it to the same place? Are we together? It won't. So what you do next is what? If. You have to the command if. Open bracket. Click on the total. That's total, yeah? Yes, that's it. Yeah, good. Now, greater than or equal to. Greater than or equal to what? What did we say for part? We said 50. Greater than or equal to 50, comma, false. Yeah, false. Greater, greater than or equal to 50. Are we here? What you have for that to be what? Pass. So, double quote here, pass. Sorry, pass. Double quote, where's your quote? PA. All right, now, comma. Huh? All right, are we good? Are we together? Are we together? Are you guys here? All right, good. Yeah, let's go. So we've already now, we now said, okay, you did not, you are not greater than or equal to 70, right? You've now come into where it is false and you've met another condition that is now saying, are you greater than or equal to 50? If yes, what will happen? We'll display pass. But if no, what are we to display? Fail. So the next one is fail. No. Just fail. Just double quote and fail. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're missing the open bracket after the if. And then you're missing the condition, the total. Yeah, open, no, that if, that's for if, okay. then open brackets. Yeah, then you click on the same total again. So that's what it's checking for, yeah. Then continue. Are we together? We're not done yet, though. If you, if you click on enter and tell me you have an error, I'll not answer you. Are we here now? So we've ended this one, right? So close brackets. Don't click on enter yet, though. Just close brackets first. It will. Close bracket, close bracket again. Good, so the reason you're closing it twice, why? Because we have two if statements. Are we together? Why we are, I'm telling you these things that you're taking note of this thing, simply because you, you're gonna be doing most of these formulas with nested if statements. So your assignment is probably going to take you, give you about five, four to five if statements. If you do not close one of those brackets, you will get the error. Are we together? If you do not close even one of the brackets, it's not going to work, okay? So take note of that. Click enter now. Do you understand? Maybe for forever error living product. I'm coming. <laughs> um, yes. So you can see above 70 is very good. Above 70 is very good. Anything above 50 is pass. Those online, how, how is it? Is it working?
There's something I'm observing about my um about my system. So after co- putting a command and everything, it brings out error and alights the pass. It's trying to say that pass is wrong. It's passing double quotes or single quotes. In double quotes. Usually when you alight, it shows that it's showing where it is where the error is coming from. I would like but to now, do single. Uh just to give you more. Okay, try single and let's see what happens on your system. But if not, certain times it's just Excel being Excel. Uh, you might have to restart your, your Excel and then try again. Usually it's better because once once you've covered every part, you must okay. make sure your commas are there. Yeah. It just it comes up with issues like that. All right. See, we start. Are we good? Yes. Are we all good? Okay. Except for the one or two system issues. Are we good? Are we together? So. All right, so we're all good because we're at, we're at the end. So we're at the end of this class. Now, your second task of today is like, it's kind of like your assignment. So that's what we're starting next class with. Then we now there's a tendency next classes tomorrow. I think they'll communicate to you guys on that part. Either it's tomorrow or on Saturday. Yes.
Yes. Hmm? Online, that's what it means. Very far after church. So, but that will be communicated to you, not by myself. All right. Any questions so far? No, sir. Okay. All right, so we'll come to the end. the end of the class. Do have a wonderful day. Thank you and God bless. So what about the assignment? They're still here. Okay. So what about the assignment? Yeah, the assignment was a task. Okay, those of you that were not in earlier, not me. Are they saying? Yeah, they're what's the is look up look up and tap was it same yes good afternoon everyone okay let's have one out those of us at the back, those of us on Zoom, please, let's just hang in there a bit. Oh, yeah, oh, hello. Don't worry, don't worry about saving it. I'll save it. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, so this is um, day three, or week three of our Excel and data analysis, stuff. right? Yes. So usually it runs for four weeks. Yes. So it means we have one more contact, yes. And um, what we usually do is that last contact usually done virtually, yes. This is to allow us to introduce another of your program, you understand? So that by next week, you have your HSC starting. Is that okay? Yeah. Is that? Yes, and human so human resource will start on the sixth of July. Yes. Yes, no, it's not for you. It's for those who have not done human resource. So usually we 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 have three contacts, physical contact on our Excel and data, and the last contact is usually virtual. So we, we usually do it on, on Sunday in the evening when everybody is um, settled. So I don't know if um, tomorrow is visible or you want us to do it the other Sunday so that we can accommodate another course for next week, HSC especially. So, yes, yes. You said? So is it health, safety, and environment? Health, safety, and environment. Then for our June guides, um, if certified admin officer and entrepreneurship and business management is part of your course, during the week, we are going to be giving you instruction on how that is going to be done. Uh, what we do is, is a self-led course, those two, they are self-led course. So we add you to the group. There's a designated group chat for that. You go to the group, we send you the materials and the manuals, the practice question. Then you go ahead and request for your login details. Then you read those manuals. So usually it's for three weeks on your own, three weeks. Then when you are back, you will now take the assessment. Then, of course, your certificate will be processed. So that's just for those students. But the other ones will have physical contact and virtual contact like this. So it's just for us to accommodate. Because I think this is, you started in June, right? Yes. And this is your week three 
on the program so far. Project management is still going to eat into your time. So that is why we want to quickly shuffle that up. And you may also be meeting virtually again on project management. I thought, um, I thought to so do we meet tomorrow or next week Sunday? Tomorrow. On Sunday. On so what time is it? Four, five, six, nine, six, six, seven on Sunday. This tomorrow or next week Sunday? Tomorrow. Next week, Sunday is what day? Next week, Sunday is 6 p.m. is okay? All right. So please, if you are unable to catch up tomorrow in the evening by 6 p.m. Right, so it's going to be for 6 to 8. Is that okay? Uh, 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 do you want more than that? No, let's do 6 p.m. You know, there's a whole lot of activity going on. Then, of course, so if we're doing it tomorrow, it means that uh, tomorrow recording will now be published. Then your assessment will now start the following Sunday on data analysis and Microsoft Excel. So we'll give you that one week to review all the material. Then from next week, Sunday, to now start. So as soon as you start submitting, please don't bother. Just submit to the email. On Sundays in the evening, I will update and I will inform you in the group. So it will take one week when you submit. Take one week for me to update you on the sheet. Hello, let's have one house so that we can understand how the assessment is done on data analysis. And of course, I'm still going to share the link. Are we together? Let's have one house now because when you send me a message later, I may not be able to respond on time. Are we together? So this is the instruction for the data analysis and Microsoft Excel. We are going to be publishing uh, assessment instruction. We are going to read through. All of what you have done is what you are still going to be doing. But this time, it's a different case scenario. So you are going to be resolving a case. Now, once you are done, you once you see the instruction, you go to your Excel sheet and you perform all the magic you have been doing here. Then you go ahead. You, <laughs> so I will send in the instruction there will be a mail where you will forward all the magic you have done in your assessment you will forward it to the mail so once you forward it to the mail then there will be a sheet as soon as you submit go and check that sheet the, the link of the sheet will be there is a um, google sheet once you click on the link you will see your name that you have submitted yes so immediately you submit just go and check now, but it takes, it's going to, before it takes 24 hours, but now it's going to take one week. So, yes. So once you submit, leave it for one week, or I will even come to the group and say, I've updated the names. So quickly go check and ensure that your name is there. In a case where your name is not there, you reach out to me that you have submitted, but your name is not there. I will now go and check the spam of the email. Please don't submit so many times. If you do that, it makes it more difficult to receive out those who have submitted and those who have not. Mm -hmm. But if you send the mail and it does not, you don't see your name on the sheet, just message me. Then I'll go and check the spam and move it. Then again, in submitting your data analysis and Microsoft Excel assessment, your name will only appear when you have completed your payment for your program. Yes, that is only done on data analysis and Microsoft Excel. And of course, public speaking and presentation because that's how the assessment also is done. So that is the only way your name will appear. So if you go and check and you have submitted and your name is not there, two things. You see that it did not come or you have not completed your payment. So that's the two things. But in whichever case, once your name is missing, whether you have submitted the assessment 
or not. Just let me know so that I can check to see if it came if it came in. Then I can keep it somewhere. When your payment is not completed, it can now appear. Are we together? Uh, is any other thing? Yes. Uh, like I said, if you finish your class tomorrow, no, 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 it's not starting today. It's practical. So your assessment will now start the following Sunday. No, 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 no. Okay, so starting. Uh, those of us who are taking assessment before those our main guys will understand. So assessment means that are we together? If we are starting assessment today, it does not mean that you must do that assessment that day. Usually we we'll give a period. So it may be also, also maybe another one week. And so within that one week, you submit. But I will go to the mail to fetch those who have submitted on a Sunday. So if you submit maybe on a Monday. And you check the sheet, your name is not there. Just wait till Sunday in the evening. Once you don't see your name on Sunday in the evening, reach out to me and say, I've submitted, but I've not seen my name. You. Yes. <laughs> Are we together? Then, of course, for some of us who will also be taking public speaking and presentation, this is how the assessment is being done. You come to the class like this, you come and stand. Here you see me now, I've been doing presentation for the past five minutes. When yes. is class? When is the class? It will be communicated, don't worry. Yes. So you come. Yes, the date will be communicated. We'll check with the schedule and see the appropriate time for you to begin. But this is how the assessment is going to be done. I'm preparing your mind so that you get used to it simply because I'm explaining how data analysis assessment is being done. That's why I'm also explaining public speaking. Let's pay attention. No, let's have one house now. Yes. Please don't come back and say you don't have a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. For every one of us who have who has a Gmail account, automatically you have a YouTube channel. Yeah. What you just need to do is for you to go and just create it. It's there. Everything is just there, just for you to create it. So you will come out like this, you make presentation. Uh, day one, day two, they will take you through the training. For your assessment, you are going to record yourself. You are going to prepare a PowerPoint slide. Yes. You prepare a PowerPoint slide. Are we together? Yes. See, what we are doing here is what is, is what's happening out there. Let's pay attention. Though. Yes. So when we come for... All right, so when you come for class like this, we had a project management course this morning, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. You see the way Mr. Amadi was displaying it, was moving from one page to another. That's what you're going to be doing. You will do that. But this time around, you'll be recording yourself. How the recording is done, um, how you are going to upload it on your YouTube channel, how you are going to save the recording and upload to your YouTube channel, there are videos for that that will guide you. Yes, what you just need is for you to go through those videos. So we'll publish those videos for you as a guide. Just the way we publish how you can use Zoom application before you begin your training. So we have all of those videos prepared. Any question? Yes. Yes. You now want to switch. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. So for the topic you are going to be presenting, any topic of your choice. Ooh. And your slide must not be more than five. So it's easy. It's easy. And your video should not be more than five minutes. So it's simple. Don't worry, there's a video for that will guide you. Okay. Yes. So we are meeting tomorrow, 6 p.m., right? Yes. All right. Thank you very much. No, those are, those are some the same. Ah. Yes, it will hurt you, but we hear you well. This is how I say you can put my job. I will post, we'll post all the things I've said. We'll post. Oh, you need to do.
I do have pressure. They don't go beyond this. I like to thank you. I'm so proud. 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 Okay. So the book is that uh I don't type from but the images back to the video. Oh yeah, that's all the come on training. So I'm just trying to show you how to use our units for practice classes for my presence. And so um the unit is uh so as for the and so I was thinking from how we are learning how we are learning how we are learning how we are learning I train about the term, Power BI, uh, this year. You know, I still as well. Okay, so I, I do those three, I do that three months, two months. So I'm jumping. Okay, you're spreading it across four months or? I, so three, three tools, so a tool per month. If it goes to so in your case, why I said your case is for general analysis, I don't go deep in SQL because a lot of people don't know what to do that. So if I'm going deep into SQL, then that's in okay. that makes the problems. Because I have a student who, who, who finished the three months. Then, because our industry kind of needs us, so she has to go for that. She has to go for that. So I have to about one point. Yeah, so what else is coming? Yes. So that one is because of the money, right? Where I think someone from here advising to do investment. 